Tai is a strong, expressive woman who is full of life. Known as the diva of the house, her clothes, hair, and nails are always kept flawless. She has a unique ability of being able to connect to those around her and creating meaningful, lifelong bonds. She doesn't let her physical or medical disabilities get in the way of her enjoying life and being involved in the community around her. At the age of 14, she had gone to the candy store with one of her friends and um, she had a sickle cell crisis. And before her father could get there, um, she lost oxygen, too much oxygen to the brain. And that's what left her disabled. Thais may no longer be able to speak in the traditional manner, but family, friends, and the dedicated staff who assist her on a daily basis utilize Thais' emotions and facial expressions to understand her thoughts and feelings. Thais, she's just loving. She's just loving. We communicate. Um, I was saying it's, it's different. I know she cannot speak, but spiritually we feel things between her and I. It was really actually easy to communicate with Thais. She may not have that like a language or that verbal barrier, but she does say yes or no with gestures and she's, her face bright, lights up if she likes something. If she doesn't like something, you can see it all in her face and she will advocate and say she doesn't like it. Ty experienced a severe medical setback two years ago, but the experienced care from the staff at her home greatly aided in her recovery. Recently, Ty was very ill and was at ICU at NYU and was not doing well at all. She was suffering and um, certain days she was very unresponsive. She was there for months. She recovered well, but she is, she's medically frail and, and has a lot of complicated illnesses that require a lot of attention, but even in the hospital, she had everyone around her. You're attracted to her, you know, it's fun to be with her. She's an amazing woman. She's a very strong woman who, um, through her personality and her um, zest for life, she just, she, she communicates better than you and I, not with words. Suite One is Thais's home. She is known throughout the building. She is known throughout the neighborhood, and this is her home. She's well-loved, and she loves living here. I am the assistant supervisor here at East 35th Street, sweet one, but Ty is like my sister friend. <laughs> we work very close together, you can say that. Like, Ty is just amazing. She's just like our diva. So, you know, they say you can, you're not really allowed, to, well, supposed to get closer to individuals, but you just can't help it, especially with Ty. One of our biggest things we've done, well, we went to see Usher together. Ty loves Usher. That's like her number mm -hmm. one person. <laughs> she has him all over the wall. She's just like, everyone knows that she loves Usher. So me being an advocate for her and always like thinking about her, putting her first, and I am a concert goer. So I get these emails about like random concerts and they happen to email me about Usher. So I came in, I spoke to Roseanne about it, my supervisor, and she thought it was a great idea to take her. And it was an amazing experience. We just try to make it happen for them. We all just come up with a plan as a team. Okay, how's she gonna get there? How's she gonna get back? You know, around the time that we're gonna leave, we doll them up <laughs> and we just out there. If they wanna take Ty out, they want to take her somewhere, we'll do everything possible to make it happen. We try to be very flexible. She's gone to concerts, sat front row. We make it happen. If she, you know, whatever it is that she wants, if we can do it, we do it. We just really focus on trying to do as many things as we can that we know she enjoys. Um, we take her out, show her pictures to see if she wants certain like clothes or accessories. So we try to involve her as much as possible in what she wears, um, take her shopping as much as possible. She knows her tastes, you know, she has a certain style. She knows what she likes. And if she doesn't like it, she'll let you know. She'll clearly let you know, no, I don't like that. And yes, I like this. And we take all of that into consideration. If you look at her, her room and her wardrobe, it's all her personality. 
Thais not only enjoys music and going to concerts, but she also enjoys people watching, being pampered, and just being outdoors. She likes to take the 34th Street bus across town. She does like, you know, to be out and with everyone. She likes to just hang out and just be a part of the community and society, just like everyone else would. So public transportation is always a lot of people, a lot to see. It's good for her to get out with everyone else. We do like to treat her every once in a while to get a manicure or to get her hair washed and, and clipped and everything. Like when we actually can't do it in house, we would like to at least let her go get pampered every once in a while, like we would like to do. Um, and yes, we do. We go to parks and stuff like that, especially in the summertime. She likes to watch the guys play basketball. That's like one of her favorite things. <laughs> She's in agreement with that. <laughs> She always happy to come outside. She'd be happy to get on the bus. You know, she look around a lot. Most of the time, people say hi to her. So she always be saying back hi to them. She smiles a lot. She always, she's always interested in everything outside, in the community.